do not be afraid to fail because that oftentimes is the thing that keeps us as women and girls back. You give a woman a problem, she will go to hell and high water to fix it. Right. And the problem with a lot of us in the workplace is we play it so safe that we don't push ourselves. Right. Think of yourself as not a woman, not a minority, not skinny, not whatever. Just think about like your art or the thing you wanna do. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. My one word is believe, and I believe in you. I believe you have an amazing gift inside you that I want to see exploded onto the world. Now, I started the Girl Boss series. This is a new test. This is the first video in the series, and I hope it continues. The goal is to try to help motivate, inspire young women entrepreneurs to help them believe in themselves more, see that they can go off and do amazing things, build insanely awesome companies. And so I hope you enjoy this video. I look forward to your feedback. Please let me know. In the comments below afterwards and enjoy this video. All right, up first, rule number one, fail your way to success with Michelle Obama. This is what I tell my daughters every day. Do not be afraid to fail because that oftentimes is the thing that keeps us as women and girls back because we think we have to be right. We think we have to be perfect. We think that we can't stumble. Um, and the only way you succeed in life, the only way you learn, is by failing. It's not the failure, it's what you do after you fail, you know? Do you let it eat you up? Do you quit? Do you give up? Or do you let it bolster you? Does it serve as, as the challenge in your mind to do more, to take some risks, to step outside of your comfort zone? Rule number two is push yourself with Mel Robbins. Men will apply for a job when they feel that they are 60% qualified. Mm -hmm. Now that's a risk. Right. Because there's a gap there and anytime you wanna get a new assignment or you wanna kind of expand what you're doing, there will be a gap. Women consistently wait to either volunteer for assignments or apply for more senior jobs until they personally feel that they are 100% ready. And so it's really important, even though you're not going to feel comfortable, pushing yourself to take a risk. Because if you apply and you don't get it, guess what? You can go to the, the sponsoring partner that was hiring for that and say, what's the gap? Right. And then you're going to be told exactly what are those things that you need to be doing between now and the next time that you apply that fills that gap right. that was there to begin with. But without taking those risks, you have no idea what the gaps are and you have no idea what you need to go to work on. One of the things that I love about working with women is we are natural problem solvers. Yes. If yes. you give a woman a problem, she will go to hell and high water to fix it. Right. And the problem with a lot of us in the workplace is we play it so safe because we're afraid right. to disappoint people, we're afraid to get in trouble, we're afraid to lose our jobs and then that's gonna impact the family that we don't push ourselves. Right. And the truth is, if you stick your neck out, if you summon up that grit and you act, even though it scares you to death, you got a problem. Right. And now you're going to fix it. That's right. Rule number three, just do your work with Mindy Kaling. Girls face so many challenges and people are constantly telling them they can't do things, they can't be funny, they can't run companies. Um, that I just, I mean, my advice is always just like, you not to focus on anyone telling you you can't do anything um, or the politics of your situation, but to just focus on the situation. It's sort of to, to think of yourself as not a woman, not a minority, not skinny, not whatever. Just think about like your art or the thing you wanna do because you, you can get caught up. I can get caught up. I could spend my entire life doing panels on being a chubby woman of color writing a TV show. And everyone, it would be useful to some people, but I wouldn't be writing my TV show. And all my competition, all the white men who are doing the same thing as me are not doing those panels. They're just getting better and better and better at their job. And so for me, the only advice I ever give women is like, we want to support each other without distracting each other. And it's just like, Head, heads down, work really hard, pretend your parents don't like, you know, they lock you in a, the third room of whatever and just like do your work. So I, it's not fun advice. <laughs> it's not like look in the mirror and just say like R-E-S-P-E-C-T and like walk down the street. Uh, but I was just, that was not my experience. Rule number four, stand up for your beliefs with Jennifer Lawrence. 
when the Sony hack happened and I and I saw the difference in pay, I spoke out because I knew what led to that. I knew that there was no one to blame but myself. I knew that it wasn't Sony's fault. Um, that uh, it was it was what what I had done with my own mentality. There's almost a gender bias that we, as women, I can only speak as a woman, as I've never been a man, but as a woman, we almost put this gender bias in ourselves, maybe, possibly. That's why I wanted to just open up and say, I feel this way. I feel awkward negotiating. I feel uncomfortable asking for more money. I don't want to seem like a brat. I don't want to seem like all of these things that are only words that, the, that are used for women. They don't have those words mm -hmm. for males. Um, and if this can help somebody, great. But because you you had gained the strength and courage to do it. Yeah, I, I think I've grown. I, you know, it's been a, an awkward process because I'm a, a growing up a little bit uh, in the spotlight. So it's I, I used to just keep my mouth shut, you know, about everything because my job depends on everyone going to see my movies, not just people who agree with my opinions. And people don't really like opinionated actors and and. Um, or any celebrities, so it's scary to do it because you know that you could be losing friends um, or box office tickets. Yes. But as I get older and I learn more, and I and I have opinions, I go, yeah, but I I I, I, I don't have um, I have just as much of a right to speak. Mm -hmm. And with something like that, with something that's so clearly unfair, if I don't use my voice um, for women who don't have a voice, then what's the point? Rule number five, dream bigger with Cara Delevingne. It's just, uh, there's a lot of things I want to do. I always wanted to be a director. I think as well, I have so many girls come up to me and tell me that they want to be models, which is fine. It's not a bad thing. I just think there's so much to do. I just went to a wonderful talk about um, genetic engineering and neuroscience. And this man who was giving the talk explained that these like 10,000 kids is from the age of seven to 13 who are doing neuroscience. They do these competitions and wonderful things, and they're doing things in neuroscience which, haven't been, which weren't done by him until he was like 30. Like how quickly things like that are changing. And, but they're not, there is an awareness brought to this cool stuff like that. Like that sounds way cooler to me than being a model. But like no one really knows about it. And I just think, there are just so many things. I always say to girls, just dream, just dream bigger. Go for president. Just keep going up. Astronauts. I don't know. Rule number six, work on yourself with Oprah Winfrey. I say to the, my girls all of the time that your real work is to figure out where your power base is and to work on the alignment of your personality, your gifts that you have to give with the real reason why you're here. That's, that's the number one thing you have to do is to work on yourself and to fill yourself up and keep your cup full, keep yourself full. Now I used to be afraid of that. I used to be afraid, particularly from people who say, oh, she's, she's so full of herself, mm, she's so full of herself. And now I embrace it. I, I consider it a compliment that I am full of myself. Because yeah. you only when you're full, I'm full, I'm overflowing, my cup runneth over. I have so much, I have so much to offer and so much to give. And I am not afraid of honoring myself. You know, it's miraculous when you think about it. Rule number seven, go for growth with Sheryl Sandberg. I do believe that women don't take enough risk. Not every woman, certainly some do, but same thing. The men are just foot on the gas pedal, career motivated. The data tells very clearly that at every stage, starting in college, in the high educated part of our workforce, men are more ambitious than women. And I really believe we're not going to close the achievement gap until we close the ambition gap. And so the ambition gap has to do with risk. I think the most common mistake I see people make, and men make this mistake too, but women do, do a lot, is they're too worried about the upward trajectory and not worried enough about growth. So the two corporate jobs I've taken, I went from Treasury to Google, and then I went from Google to Facebook, had one thing in common, which is that they were more junior, other people's words, not mine, than other jobs I was offered. When I went to Google, Google was like 250 people. I was going to be a 
business unit general manager, except there were no business units. Susan Wojcicki's here, she helped recruit me. <laughs> this was the non-job of all time. I mean, there was no job there. And I was offered like senior sounding, more senior roles at more established companies. But I really believed in what Google was doing and Eric Schmidt gave me great career advice. He said, go for growth. Growth moves everyone up. It's growing, it works. And so I went to a smaller company with a very more junior, less defined job. You know, when I came out of Google, it, it seems obvious now to come to Facebook, but at the time, a lot of people asked me, right, you remember this, what are you doing? You're going to work for a 23-year-old, you know? No one knows if Facebook's gonna be the next, you know, MySpace or Friendster. Like, and you're not CEO. You could be CEO somewhere else, and what I saw was something that mattered, Facebook mattered with authentic identity, and an opportunity for growth. And so at each stage, I've cared less about my level, I kind of think it's silly, than I have about the underlying growth. And I do think this is really important for everyone to know, particularly women. And rule number eight, the last one before the bonus clip, is don't ask for permission with Ava DuVernay. For young people, women, people of color, as a young African-American woman director, what words of wisdom do you have to share as you not look back on your career, but you continue to go forward? That's exactly what it is, it's go forward. You know, we have to work without permission, especially as women in this industry. Who are we asking for permission to do what we wanna do? That should be eradicated. You need to set a path and start walking. And that is what I've tried to do and what I try to encourage folks to do. Walk with me, let me walk with you, let's walk with each other. But I think, you know, so much of the industry is very permission-based. And once you get out of your mind that you have to ask anyone to do what you want to do, um, you'll be better for it. Now, I've got a special bonus clip from Jack Ma for everybody. But before that, my question of the day is, I'm curious, what did you think of this series? Should we continue it or not? Do you have any suggestions or feedback for me that I can use to carry it forward? Let me know. I need your feedback. I want your support. Leave it down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon and enjoy the bonus. Today, we have a 49%, close 49% of the employees of our company are women. That's a lot for a high-tech company. It's not on purpose we're high women. We think they are great in helping us to grow. Alibaba is an e-commerce company. E-commerce is a service industry. To serve people better, you, have a, you should have a serve, service heart. We find that women doing much better jobs than men. And the second is the last century, people compete because muscle. No, not this century is not muscle, it's the wisdom. And next is, I believe, if a person wants to be successful, you should have a high EQ. But if you don't want to lose quickly, you should have a high IQ. But if you want to be respected, you should have, have high LQ, the Q of love. So those three Qs put together, a lot of men, they have a high IQ, but low EQ, a very tiny LQ. <laughs> Women balance-wise, they're the best. If you want your company to be successful, if you want your company to operate with wisdom, with care, women is the best. In my company, we notice that women, they care <coughs> others much more than men. Even on our site, today on shopping site, e-commerce, we find women buy a lot of things. But they buy for their husband, their parents, their kids. Men only buy for themselves, mostly. Because you care, that makes you the difference. So, we have a 49% of the uh, the colleagues in the company are women, and close 37% of the senior management are women. We never feel anything wrong, and women, they, they, they sacrifice more. They, when they, they love it, they believe it, they continue to do it. So I think the very, one of the secret source for Alibaba to be successful, was successful in the past 18 years, because we have so many women colleagues. 
And the other thing is that we feel so proud. And you know, most of the time you see I go out, I never realized that when we count always 50% of women with my delegation, my team, because we never think they're women, we think they're great colleagues. Raise your standard. Apple at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. Not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. I don't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Hey, Believe Nation, if you want to see my all-time favorite top 10 rules of success, I have a very special secret video for you. These are the individual clips that I have personally learned the most from and applied to my life and my business. Check the link in the description for details.